Making emotional choices sometimes are not a good thing. For example, I purchased a 2015 GMC Canyon in the fall of 2014. Drove it for 16 months and only put 13,000 K on it and then my life changed. And I had to make a choice to sell it or to lose it. So of course I made the choice to let her on go. Went uh, with only one vehicle the old Silverado for a bit. The old 2003 Silverado was a good buy, however it was compensating for something that I was missing um, at the time due to buying the 2008 GMC Canyon, but we'll get to that in a minute. I went through a big change in my family and just when things were looking down, dark and gloomy, I had the chance to buy another truck. So of course I went out and bought one just like the 2015, except black and a six foot box instead of silver and the five foot box. So I did it without really thinking it through and figuring out if it was me that wanted it or my emotions that wanted the truck or even if this 2016 was the right truck. Well, I purchased this here truck in the fall of last year, which 2016, once again. And it has been a good, dependable truck. However, I am finding that I am limited to what I can do with the truck, like hauling, family room, etc. So here I go again, purchasing a third truck in less than three years. Impulse, emotional buying, or spending is not really a good thing. Always use your brain and think it through first. In the fall of 2008, I needed a truck. So I shopped around, set the bar low, and found the truck I thought I needed. Uh, it was a 2009 GMC Canyon, four-cylinder automatic, six-foot box, two-wheel drive, good little car. I don't really want to call it a truck, but was a good car. I owned it for six years and only put 60,000 K on it, mainly due to the fact that my needs changed. Uh, in the first uh, year and a half to two years, it was perfect. But that third year, the needs changed and I went out and purchased the 2003 Silverado. The 2003 Silverado was a used unit, didn't really cost me a bundle of money. But at the same time, uh, again, it wouldn't have been necessary if I would have aimed the bar a little higher and got a larger truck. If I would have traded the 2009 Canyon off between two and three years old, then it would have been worth more to the dealership. It was not bought on impulse, but life changes. If I would have bought a larger truck, then I wouldn't have needed to have traded it off or trade these vehicles off like I've done. I would have grown into it. And then it would have been like 30 or 40 or even 110,000 kilometers, you know, by now. It's kind of the way it goes. I'd, if I ever did it again, um, I would definitely buy the larger truck back in 2009. And, you know, maybe drove it for five or so years and looked at trading it off again once it got around, you know, the mid 100,000 mark or so. I know the dealerships tend to put a bit of a pressure on you when your vehicle is a year and a half to two years old, you know, under 30,000 kilometers because those are what they call the premium uh, used units, the ones that they really, really want on their lot. And once they get to, you know, six years old, they're not really as desirable as one that's only two to three years old. However, there is a balance between uh, what I have been doing and 
keeping a vehicle past its um, prime trade-in value. I haven't quite figured that out yet. I've made some nasty mistakes, some expensive mistakes, learned from my mistakes. And uh, I'm trying to correct something that I did a year ago that wasn't really thought out well. But it all works out the way it's supposed to be in the end. And it'll be what it is. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.